In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use conditional formatting to quickly and easily highlight data that has an error in Microsoft Excel. So here we want to make a summary of total revenue by cookie type. And we can see for a couple of the cookie types, it's producing an error. Now we go to our data that we're making a summary of, as you can see, there's a couple error values in our data. To quickly and easily use conditional formatting to highlight and emphasize these pieces of data first, we want to apply the array, highlight the range that we want to apply the conditional formatting to. Now we want to go to the home tab and then conditional formatting. And then from here we want to create a new role. Now that we're here, we want to format cells that contain not only format cells with right, but format cells not cell values, but we want to format errors. And now we want to format these errors as to adjust formatting, we can click, you need to click on formatting, and we can adjust the number formatting, the font, the border, the fill, and so on and so forth. Personally, I would pick like a red, and it, it just says how it like pops out quickly. If we want to, we can have a pattern color, or we can have like a different pattern style. If we really want to do that, it can get a little bit funky, um, but you can do that to kind of pilot your data differently. You have various fill effects if you want to. and so on and so forth to kind of just really make data emphasize in the way that you would want it to be. Now let's add a border. Let's see when it's outline your data set and or not have a border at all. You're going to also adjust the border style if you want to and even adjust the border color. Adjust the font. Really make it make it bold and number you can just number running too if you want to. So let's click OK. It's going to look a little funky, but we'll get the point across. Now, as you can see, all of our error values have this super funky conditional formatting that I don't like at all. Um, yeah, this is terrible looking. Actually, I would never do this in real life, but just kind of show you the different options that you can have to format your cells using conditional formatting. And now, as you can see, our error values pop out very quickly and easily in our data set by just scrolling through and seeing what's there. Another quick tip that you can use to highlight error values is you can use you can use this piece piece right here. Um, as you can see, whenever I highlight data, like some basic calculations show up, and as you can see, there's a sum. But it will it, but once you highlight over data value, it will go from a sum to a just a numerical counter account whenever you have the in your active bar right here. So if it's a ton of data, you can highlight the shift down arrow, shift page down, and wherever wherever you have the shift page down go from the sum to this count, then it will then that then you know you kind of where the data where the error is on your data. And this idea hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like subscribe, comment, thank you for watching. Have a great day.